Hi, it's Liz from Saddlebrook Soapery, and this is Reggie. And Rue's down here, too. Come here, Rudy. Come on. Come here, buddy. I know. You want to see everybody? This is Rue, my little buddy. And this is Reggie. Now I'm an empty nester, so these are my two little buddies. But anyway, so today I'm going to be making a soap that's black and white on the bottom. I want even stripes, so I'm taking my oil solution and my lye solution and dividing it by five and just pouring each layer one at a time so I can get some nice even layers. And then on top I plan to make some flowers and um, th they'll be piped flowers and put those flowers on top. And so, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, right buddy? There you go, come here, say hi. This is Rubius Hagrid. He's all, he's a Pomeranian, but he's shaved and he's kind of grown out and he needs another haircut. You're just a big hairy monster, aren't you? Can you say hi? And I'm being licked to death here. You're my babies. All right, thanks for watching. So I want to make a black and white striped soap and then put some of these roses on top and maybe some greenery. Um, and in between the black and white stripe I want to use some um, gold and do a little mica line. So I've divided my whole batch of oils into five and I've divided my whole batch of lye water into five. So each time I'm adding the lye water, just that small amount of lye water to like one fifth of my oils. So that I can wait between layers to make sure that each layer is solidified. So I just add that one fifth portion of the lye water to the, my one fifth portion of oils and so this is going to be a white layer. So I'll add my titanium dioxide. going to just give my oils a little mix and then I'm going to measure these out on the scale and then I'm tearing that and then um, my lye water so I need 5.89 ounces And now I'm going to add my colorant, which I've been just using black and white. So for the black, I'm using Wicked by Mad Oils.
all the layers done on the soap. So we did white, black, white, black, and then white. And now we are ready to put on some flowers. So I'm just going to start placing the flowers. And then I also have some, I had some green left over in one of my piping bags and I'd made a few extra uh, leaves. So I'm thinking about adding those. Okay, I'm here to cut the black and white striped soap with the flower top. I just love this soap. I love how it turned out and I love the flowers on there. I really don't want to cut it. It's so pretty. But um, this really goes well with kind of my style right now because I do a lot of black and whites in my house with a pop of color. So I might have to have this as my signature soap. And it smells great. I'm gonna just take a little bit off the end, but you know what? Since I put that mica line on there and with these roses, I think I'm gonna turn it. <laughs> 